After the collapse of Wall Street in the 90s, a stockbroker goes into business on his own. He quickly creates the most controversial brokerage firm in the country. Name of the game? Move the money from your client's pocket into your pocket. But if you can make your client's money at the same time, it's advantageous to everyone, correct? No. But he swiftly falls into a world of drugs, sex, and money in The Wolf of Wall Street. Hi, I'm Liz. I'm Anna Maria. And I'm Sean. Next up is Martin Scorsese's new film, Wolf of Wall Street. We've all just seen it. Anna Maria, would you buy or sell Wolf of Wall Street? I would totally buy it. <laughs> I loved it. It was great to see Martin Scorsese go back to a territory that he's completely the king of, which is man in groups doing despicable things to get ahead, completely amoral, completely high on every single type of drug there is. The mark of a great filmmaker is that he'll explore the similar themes throughout his own canon of work. And Wolf of Wall Street is like Raging Bull, it's Casino, it's, it's Goodfellas, but not derivative enough to be irritating. It's just still tackling those same issues. Well, you know it's a Scorsese movie. Yeah. If you don't know it's directed by Martin Scorsese, five minutes into this movie, you're going to know who made this film, and it's yeah. Martin Scorsese. I, if anything, I did think, I feel like I've somewhat seen this movie before. I mean, the Casino and Goodfellas did sort of go over similar territory. This is essentially organized crime. It's a different form of organized crime, but it, it is organized crime. And so I do kind of like it when he branches out a little bit. But if he wants to make a, you know, a remake of Goodfellas for the rest of his life, I'll take it, and I'll watch it every time. But I think there's a lot of Raging Bull in there. I mean, there's that, that exploration of primal man, and you know, they're, like, beating their chest, and it's all about this aggressive attitude towards life. Where Aviator left off, this film is kind of picking up that kind of primal discussion. You show me a pay stuff for $72,000 on it, I quit my job right now, and I work for you. Hey, Paulie, what's up? No, yeah, you know, everything's fine. Hey, listen, I quit. DiCaprio, I thought, was terrific in this movie. He shines. He's this manic, crazed performance on drugs almost all the time, and he gives these speeches in front of the group of people that would make Gordon Gecko jealous. I mean, I it was it was just top form for DiCaprio. Well, it's hard to expect anything less from him. I mean, Leonardo DiCaprio always picks these roles that are just epic, and it's always like a man and like the devolution of man or the degradation of that character. And so he he did that very well, but he's done that in Gatsby, did that in Aviator. You mm. know, it, it, I see that a lot. Like Titanic. But, ne <laughs> no. but it never gets tiresome. I was surprised by Kyle Chandler. He was like yeah. the real treat for me. And he played that earn it, that manipulative earnestness very well. I love Jonah Hill. And I want to say that because I'm not a Jonah Hill fan. But he was so perfect in that adoring nitwit. I mean, there's no light bulb to go on in his head because there's nothing going on there. And he just adores Jordan, the DiCaprio character. And and with the fake teeth and all, I just I just love it. Actually, I love the whole cast. And yes, I would agree, DiCaprio is fantastic. And that is, to me, the, the acumen of real comedy. It is hilarious, but to him, he's playing it as high drama. I got a couple mil coming in like a week. Yeah. And when it gets in, I'll give you a call, you come pick it up. You give me a call. When it gets here, I'll give you a call, and you'll come pick it up. Well, we don't work for you, man. Shh, 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 shh. We don't. You have my money taped to your boobs. OK, technically, you do work for me. I was thoroughly impressed with Margot Robbie, who plays his wife. When she first shows up on screen, you're thinking, well, she looks really good. I understand <laughs> why DiCaprio went after her, and I understand why the movie went after her. And then as the film evolves over yeah. the course of three hours, you really get a full-fleshed out performance by her, and she's very impressive, and I hadn't really seen her before. Another thing that I really loved about the ensemble cast, and that's something that only Scorsese could pull off, I think, there's three directors in there. There's Spike Jonze, Rob Reiner, and John Favreau, and they're all ridiculous. They're all playing like these outrageous characters with such gusto. I love seeing that. I also loved seeing Jean Dujardin being a complete sleazeball. I did wonder, while I was watching it, I would see a scene and I would go, do they really need that scene? And then the scene went in and I would go, no, they did need that scene. So I'm not entirely sure if I was the editor here what I would cut down off the runtime either. Go and see it during the day. I mean, I, I saw it during the day. Three hours didn't feel very long for me. And it feels it was, a lot shorter than The Hobbit. I'll just say that. Yeah, I mean, it's like time well spent is what I would say. 
there was very little continuity from cut to cut That's within true. the scenes. Things would disappear, things would reappear, but it doesn't matter because the emotional arc between the characters was solid. And I think Thelma Schoonmacher, I mean, she always gets lots of praise because Scorsese and her are like this powerful team, but yet again, she does it very well. It was a throwback a little bit to the world of Goodfellas. I saw a lot of Goodfellas in there. It was great to see Scorsese back on, on that field. Wolf of Wall Street is a very strong film and it's a very Scorsese film. See it. Wolf of Wall Street shows the Scorsese stock is very much worth investing in. See it. The shenanigans of Wall Street finally got the Scorsese treatment, and you laugh all the way through it. See it. Cheers. Cheers to Marty. Cheers to Marty. To Marty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You do a good McConaughey, like, next model thing. Mm -hmm. It's very good. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>